Hello everyone. Satisfaction. It's a 12 letter word. That's that's pretty long. And it's also the longest English word in Twice's music. But what about the longest Korean word? Well, that is actually 20 letters long. And 20 letters is quite long actually. So some 20 letter English words are words like electromagnetization, photoelectrocatalyze, I don't know what that means, and then internationalization. So 20 letters is quite long for a word. And we'll find out what that word is along with whether or not Blackpink is Twice's sister group. We'll find out which Twice song has the most English lyrics. And when I reveal it, you're gonna be like, oh my god, I totally knew that. But maybe you didn't know it. That's okay too. Are Blackpink and Twice sister groups, or are they similar in terms of lyrics? And I'm gonna confirm your suspicions and answer the question it is no. In fact, they are very different in terms of lyrics. On top of that, there's not even any overlap between any of the members. So it seems that there's a very big difference between the lyrics that the Twice members use and the lyrics that Blackpink members use. However, I did find the group that is most similar to Twice in terms of lyrics, and I think you might be able to guess it, okay? I'll make it multiple choice. Is it A, Girls' Day, B, AOA, or C, A Pink? The answer is A Pink. Jokes aside, the reason their lyrics are very similar is because they have very similar themes in their music. Okay, now we're on to uh, the songs with the most English lyrics for Twice. And it didn't surprise me at all. Actually, I totally expected it. Number one, we have none other than their... Honestly, I love this song. It's called I'm Gonna Be A Star. And I'm just gonna play a little bit because you guys need to know how awesome it is. The live version of I'm Gonna Be A Star is amazing. and. Momo's outfit is probably the best ever, so definitely check it out later, but later, actually check it out right now and then come back because I'm going to talk about the song a little bit, and uh, I'm also going to watch the video for a second. It's so good. Oh my god. Gotta turn on HD. Oh my god, Momo. Alright, anyways. I'm gonna be a star. Great song. Um, random funny story. My girlfriend said that in high school, <laughs> she had a friend that would just keep singing this song. <laughs> she would just keep going, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be a star. Okay, anyways, this song is, uh, so it's unique for two reasons. Number one, it's the most, it sees the most English out of all of Twice's songs, I think. 
Oh my god, okay, around about 68% of the lyrics are English lyrics, which is really high for a K-pop song. And, oh, the other unique thing about the song is it has like a... There's not a lot of lyrics in it, a lot of unique lyrics. This song has 400 words, and 140 of them are unique. The other 260 are just repeats of the original 140. This means that the song has a un lexical diversity of 35%. On the other hand, Twice's song Don't Give Up has about 200 words and a lexical diversity of 72%. This means that it has 144 unique words and 56 repeated words. And what about the lexical diversity by member? So which Twice member has the most unique lyrics and which one has the least unique lyrics? And how would that compare to an American rapper, say Eminem? So we see the two vocalists that sing the chorus a lot, Jihyo and Nayeon, at the bottom with the least diverse lyrics, and this makes sense because they're singing the chorus, obviously. And we see the rapper Dahyun at the top with uh, the most diverse lyrics. How does Dahyun compare to Eminem? I'm curious. Would Eminem have more diverse lyrics than Dahyun, or less? And it turns out Eminem actually has less diverse lyrics than all of the TWICE members. And this actually isn't too surprising because they speak both Korean and English. And overall in music, Eminem is actually considered to have a very diverse set of lyrics compared to other rappers. And due to the nature of music and language, a lot of lyrics will just end up getting repeated naturally or in the chorus a lot. But I do want to congratulate TWICE on having a very unique vocabulary, and I think they keep all their songs very interesting. First, if you're watching Ross K-pop stats, I already know something about you. You have an open mind, and that's a rare and wonderful quality. Most people only enjoy seeing their preconceived ideas fed back to them, and that doesn't happen here. Open-mindedness is one of the most important qualities a person can have. You have it, my friend. Also, you're well above average in intelligence. This channel is designed to appeal to people like you. So unless it's your first time here, I have no doubt that you're one of the smartest people you know. Now, what was that 20 letter word? The 20 letter word is and it means, I might seem puzzled or confused, but... And finally, we have some machine learning. And I had the computer rank twice songs from most negative to most positive. And it did a, an alright job in my opinion, but I also think that rating twice songs in terms of being positive and negative is kind of hard. So it had the most negative songs as Chillax and 24-7. And I don't think they're quite negative songs, but they're also, I guess the lyrics are kind of like, not dreary, I don't know the word for it. The lyrics are a little like tiresome, a little bit tiresome, the lyrics in that song. And then the happiest or the most positive songs were I'm Gonna Be A Star, Truth, and Love Line. And I think once again, it kind of rated them as did a decent job, I guess. Also, Dance the Night Away is up there. I don't know. What do you guys think? What was the most happy Twice song and what was the saddest? 